Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will illustrate geometric sequence. We will be discussing basic concepts involving geometric sequence. Let us begin by its definition. Geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant number. That constant number is called common ratio and denoted by a small letter r. One example of geometric sequence is 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. This is an example of finite geometric sequence since it has definite number of terms. It means that 96 is the last term and there are no terms after 96. Each term in this sequence is multiplied by 2 to determine the next term. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 12 times 2 is equal to 24. 24 times 2 is equal to 48. And 48 times 2 is equal to 96. The constant number to be multiplied is equal to 2. And that is the common ratio. To determine the common ratio, we will divide any term by its preceding term. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. 48 divided by 24 is equal to 2. And 96 divided by 48 also equals to 2. Therefore, the common ratio is equal to 2. Another example of geometric sequence is 1, negative 2, 4, negative 8, 16, and so on. This is infinite geometric sequence, and these three dots called ellipses means the pattern continues without end. Let us determine the common ratio and the next three terms of this sequence. Again, to determine the common ratio, we will divide any term by its preceding term. Negative 2 divided by 1, 4 divided by negative 2, negative 8 divided by 4, 16 divided by negative 8, the answer is equal to negative 2. The common ratio is equal to negative 2. Let us determine the next three terms. To determine the next term or the sixth term, we will multiply the fifth term and the common ratio. 16 times negative 2 is equal to negative 32. To determine the seventh term, we will multiply negative 32 and negative 2. Negative 32 is the sixth term, negative 2 is the value of r. Negative 32 times negative 2 is equal to 64. To determine the eighth term, we will multiply 64 and negative 2. 64 is the seventh term. Negative 2 is the common ratio, and the answer is negative 128. The next three terms are negative 32, 64, and negative 128. Another example, 72, 36, 18, 9, and so on. Let us determine whether or not this sequence is geometric sequence. If this sequence has common ratio, then it is geometric sequence. Otherwise, it is not geometric sequence. Let us check for the ratio. 36 divided by 72 is equal to 1 half. Next, we have 18 divided by 36 and it is also equal to 1 half. Next, we have 9 divided by 18 and it is also equal to 1 half. There is a common ratio, therefore, 72, 36, 18, 9, and so on is an example of geometric sequence. Let us determine the next two terms. To determine the fifth term, we will multiply the fourth term and the common ratio. We have 9 times 1 half. The answer is equal to 9 halves. To determine the sixth term, we will multiply the fifth term and the common ratio. 9 halves times 1 half, the answer is equal to 9 fourths. The next two terms are 9 halves and 9 fourths.
Last example, let us write the first five terms of a geometric sequence whose first term is 2 and whose common ratio is 3. A sub 1 is equal to 2, R is equal to 3. And we are asked to write the first five terms. Since the first term is given, let us write the first term. And then, to determine the next term, we will multiply the common ratio. A sub 2 is equal to 2 times 3. 2 is the first term, 3 is the common ratio. And the answer is equal to 6. To determine the third term, 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And the fourth term, 18 times 3 is equal to 54. And the fifth term, 54 times 3 is equal to 162. The first five terms of a geometric sequence whose first term is 2 and whose common ratio is 3 are 2, 6, 18, 54, and 162. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.